everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be answering a few questions that I've been asked recently about hexagons and mainly about how I would join them together. Um, it's a completely valid question, it's not just as, you know, it is straightforward but only if you know and I definitely, personally, always <laughs> forget. <laughs> I always assume that the hexagon is the same so, um, shape each way you have it but it's not. Here you've clearly got straight sides here and if this way you've got pointy bits at the top and personally when I join hexagons together I do it so that I make, um, I, I have the flat sides, uh, the side, the flat bits at the sides and I have the pointy bits at the top and the bottom and I would join the shorter sides together first. So if I was doing a blanket I would join the shorter edges first and then put that to one side, do the same with another strip like that and then I would sew or crochet, it's entirely up to you, the longer strips together like that. Now I've covered joining granny squares in a few videos before so I shall put links down below and I shall time code them to the point where I start talking about joining so you don't have to watch the whole video but uh, essentially you will be just you will just be taking your crochet hook or yarn um, or needle and going through the tops of those stitches there. I hope you can see that like that. So you would crochet through those like that. But I've covered that before so I won't go into that too much. Um, what else? Yes. Now, when you're doing it this way you're going to have a bit at the end. So you either make another one and you understand that you're going to have that sort of edge which is how you know which is what you get when you make a hexagon blanket that is the nature of them and that's part of the look but if you find that you don't like this big gap I've um in if you're I've for my African flower video which is a hex hexagon shape I've done a half hexagon so a half African flower that's not easy to say <laughs> Yeah, I've done a video showing you how to do a half African flower, which would, you know, obviously be half of that, and then that would fit into the gap like that, which would give you a straight edge on one side, but you'd still get this sort of edge on one on the other side. But you know, that's like I say, that is the look of a hexagon blanket. This hexagon, if you're interested, is the same as the hexagon video I've done before, but all I've done is the first two rounds and then I skipped and went and straight straight on to the very last round. If you're interested in seeing a half hexagon in this style, leave me a comment in the description box down below and I'll do that as a video. That's no problem, I can do that, so just let me know. Um, yeah, another thing, you don't have to do this strip version that's just the way I do it so you know if you find it easier to do it a different way obviously you you go ahead and do it that way there's no right or wrong way and I'm not saying my way is the right way it's just the way that feels right to me um, just a little tip some of these um, stitch markers are kind of like plastic safety pins which are quite fun they're really handy for any project really but um, if you're arranging something and you just want to see what it's going to be like before you commit the sewing part, <laughs> which is, you know, once you've sewn your ends in, it's a little bit final. It's not completely final, but it's pretty difficult to undo. But these little um, stitch markers are just brilliant for joining your motifs together so that you can, you know, see how it's going to look. And if you're sort of planning it and you can put it away in a, a bag... In, under the stairs you know to join all those other projects that we've got running at the same time <laughs> you know you can just sort of keep it all tidy like that and that's 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 I've, I find that really helpful and I've got about a hundred of these for I think 99p or so with free postage from eBay so you know you can really find <laughs> The, these sort of inexpensively so, and they're brilliant to have not just for crochet but for knitting or you know other, all sorts of projects they're absolutely fantastic for and kids can use them because you know they're not they're a bit pointy but they're not sharp <laughs> okay so yeah I mean that is my just my way of um, joining hexagons together 
again it's entirely up to you but I hope you found this video helpful and yeah and in the description box I will put as many links as I can you know if you've got a question maybe have a look in the description box first because I may have put a video link or you know a way of getting hold of me to find out the answer to your question if you want to leave me a comment down, do so down below or you can contact me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter I'm Gurdy Bunches in all of those places and if you haven't subscribed I would love it if you did and, um, and you can see my new videos come out as they come out once a week. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!